Once we were warriors. Many years ago, Vikings invaded this land and ruled it for centuries. Now, on the last Tuesday of every January, we remember our Norse heritage with song, with axe and with shield. Welcome to the Shetland Islands. Welcome to Uphelia. You are about to experience the festival for yourself. This immersive video allows you to control the camera with your mouse or finger. So look up, down and around and enjoy Uphelia. <laughs> My name's Robert Geddes. I'm a Shetlander, born and bred. It's taken months to make these costumes, as well as our helmets and shields. But it gives us something to do, something to look forward to, during the long, cold, dark winters here. This year, I have the honour of being a member of the Yarrow Squad. Nearly 50 squads take part, but only the squad of the Yarrow, that's the chief, can wear the Viking dress. The day of the festival is nearly here, and I'm off to meet the rest of the boys from my squad. Okay boys, let's come in for one more song. <laughs> We've been practising the traditional festive songs for weeks now, and this is our final dress rehearsal. It's still a little rough around the edges. From grand old Viking century to hell the has come We light the torch and form the march and sound the rolling drum Awake the mighty memories of heroes that are dumb Finishing touches are also being made to the longship itself. It's taken months to build, and yet it just takes minutes to burn. It brings back memories being here. My dad used to be in charge of painting the galley, and I still remember helping him as a wee boy. It was definitely a good job to leave the stickers till Monday, was it? After months of preparation, Uphelia is finally here. We get a good breakfast in us first thing. We need it as we'll be on the go for the next 24 hours. Not enough two bird. <laughs> Not everyone can make it to the evening procession, so we bus to wherever we may be. Hospitals, care homes, schools. And we've also a day procession to cram in. But for all its nods to the Shetland Norse heritage, Uphelia is a relatively modern phenomenon. The festivals date back to the 1800s when one of the customs was to set barrels of tar on fire and roll them down the streets of Lerwick. But, I assure you, tonight's celebrations are much better behaved. Now look around and you'll see that nearly a thousand of us here for the evening procession, with our squad at its head. We snake around Lerwick streets, following our chief who stands proudly at the helm of the longboat. It takes us about half an hour to drive the galley to its final resting place. To the Norse gods above, it must appear like the concentric rings of tree trunk are on fire as we circle the longship. Then we start to sing. From grand old Viking centuries, Uphelia has come. Then light the torch, form the march, and sound the rolling drum. And wake the mighty memories of heroes that are dumb. The waves are rolling on. Finally, our chief leaves the ship. We put flame to the galley. But this isn't the end of the celebrations. Long into the night, Shetlanders drink and make merry. 
We meet at halls throughout Warwick to sing and dance, to meet people we haven't seen over the long winter months. <laughs>